Alright, welcome! In this tutorial I will show you how to install Pop OS 2004 with a ButterFS LVM inside a Lux partition for the root file system, but on two hard disks that will um, be in the RAID 1 managed by ButterFS. Um, I will also show you how to create uh, logical volumes containing subvolumes, ButterFS subvolumes, add for slash, that is for root, and another subvolume at home for slash home. This is basically um, what the Ubiquity installer of Ubuntu or the Calamaris installer of Manjaro does if you install with ButterFS. The PopOS installer does not do this by default. Um, we will also have an encrypted swap partition and use systemd boot manager um, um, duplicate it on both disks. And um, the PopOS installer also has the future of a recovery system and we will also duplicate this on both disks. Then I will, I'll show, um, I will show you what in an emergency, how you uh, say a disk is broken, how you can repair or access your system. And lastly, also show you how great TimeShift is if you use ButterFS. Uh, there is much more information in the show notes. All commands are written in a guide on my website, so please feel free to have a look into this. Okay, so I've opened up a virtual machine with four cores, eight gigabyte of RAM, and two 64 gigabytes disk. Um, and um, I'm trying to install Pop OS 2004. So let's click try or install Pop OS. And once the desktop environment has started, we will go ahead and start the installation. Um, I will show you the steps. Okay, let's stick to English, but I do have a German keyboard. Okay, do not hit anything here yet, but open up a terminal. Okay, let's uh, increase the font size. Um, there it is. All right. Okay. Now, uh, first, um, as we are using system deboot, let's quickly check whether we are using Ethi. Yeah, if there is something outputted here, that's fine. Okay, let's go into root mode. And we first need to find out the name of our two disks. This is, for me, it's VDAA, VDB. For you, this might be SDA or SDB or NVMe N0 and NVMe N1 or something like that. Um, I've done this installation on um, a laptop with a SSD and a NVMe and also on a server with two normal hard disks. Um, works perfectly fine. And we will need to create, uh, see, uh, there's nothing on the disks yet. They're completely empty. Um, you can also, of course, run gparted to, to do the partitioning. Um, I like parted. Let's partition the first disk. Let's make a GPT partition table. Um, let's do a primary FAT32 start at 2, 5 MIB. Um, this will be the our FE partition on VDA. And this will be our 4 gigabyte recovery partition. So this is basically Pop OS copies the uh, installer files to this partition and makes a nice boot entry. So if anything breaks, we can actually access a live system. Um, and then a swap partition. Um, okay, and this starts at the old value. And let's make this also four gigabyte. Um, Note that ButterFS uh, implementation of RAID 1 does not allow for swap files, so we do have to create a swap partition. And the rest will be our root file system, 100%. Okay, let's set the first partition BIOS grub flag on. 
and ESP flag on and the flag for swap as well and let's have a look okay so this partition will be our FE partition this is the recovery system this will be the um, swap partition and here is the system on so very similar to what pop os does by default if you click clean install but uh, we will use butterfs and also a rate one so let's do open oh, quit let's do the same for our second partition um make label gpt make part primary Okay. Okay. Linux swap or five, nine, six, and eight, six, nine, two. Hundred percent set one bias grub on set one ESP on set three swap on print. Okay, let's quickly compare whether those numbers are the same. Actually, for the rate one, we do not even uh, the second. Um, this we will put this into uh, name is my way. Uh, we will put this into a um, uh, into the rate system here. Okay. Well, we can of course use name one F E B. Name two is uh, recovery B. Name three will be swap. B and name four will be crypt data B. Looks nicer. Okay. Let's change that here as well. Name one FEA. Name two recovery A. Name three swap a name for crypt data a. have a look okay now quickly for me it's it's exactly the same i have exact two same drives again on my uh precision dell notebook i have in ssd and nvme um which are not the same of course okay doki um let's quit Okay, now we have to create the Lux partitions. Um, Lux, uh, like if you use Grub, then you have to be careful if whether or not you use Lux 1 or Lux 2 and whether or not your boot partition is encrypted or not. Uh, but we use Systemd Boot Manager and we can simply stick to the default settings. Um, so crypt setup, Lux format, dev VDA4. Put in a very good password here i just for demonstration i put a very bad password in here uh, we will do the same on vdb4 you don't have to use the same password and open it up crypt setup lux open def vda4 and i will call the or put mount this to crypt vda all right enter my passphrase and vdb4 into crypt vdb okay let's have a look into def mapper there is crypt VDA. This is on the first disk, and crypt VDB is on the second disk. Okay, now the PopOS installer needs a LVM um, for the root partitions, otherwise, it just won't open the Lux partition. 
Um, I, I've had no issue. It's a bit of an overkill for my use, but I've had no issues so far. So we have to create physical volumes um, of that. Uh, crypt VDA and Crypt VDB. We have to create vo a volume group on each disk. Volume group create. Uh, let's call this data VDA def mapper um, crypt VDA and data VDB crypt VDB. All right, and then we only put one partition, a logical volume in there. Uh, let's call this root 100% free. Um, and data, what was the volume group called? Data VDA. All right, and data VDB. So if you have now a look into Dev Mapper, you can see, okay, this will be our root file system. We will partition, uh, we will format this to ButterFS and then create, do the installation and then create a RAID 1 using ButterFS implementation of RAID 1 between those two. Okay, so this is on disk 1, this is on disk 2. Um, and now, we'll, of, of course, we will also duplicate the um, FE partition, the recovery partition, and the swap partition. If anything breaks, and I will show you what you how you can access the um, the system. Okay, now let's return to the installer. Let's do custom advanced. And now this is VDA. This is VDB. Um, Let's put the FE, oh no, sorry, uh, FE should be FAT32, fine. Second one um, is also FAT32 and you have to put in custom recovery. So Pop OS installer knows this will be the recovery system. And here I would just use swap. And then I have to decrypt this, put in my password. And actually, I'm gonna name it like I did before, Crypt VDA, so I can. Oh, of course, my bad. Uh, we have to return to the terminal and close um, everything. Okay. So Crypt VDA. Crypt VDB. So let's have a look into Dev Mapper. There should be nothing in here. Sorry about that. Now go again, decrypt. Okay, and not sure if I need to, probably not, but I will VDB also decrypt this guy over here. And we have my two partitions, data VDA root and data VDB root. And I want to first use this with ButterFS and use it for root. I cannot undo the format, so okay, whatever. Okay, um, erase and install. All right, this might take a little while. Um, I would just pause the video and come back to you when it's finished. Okay, we are back. Do not hit um, restart device or shutdown yet. Um, let's go back. Um, into our terminal and do a some post installation steps. Okay, that is um, first we want to create a RAID one for our root file system, and second to create uh, the ButterFS layout of uh, Ubuntu's um, Ubiquiti installer or uh, the Calamaris installer of Manjaro, uh, which create uh, subvolumes at for slash and the subvolume at home for slasher. Um, oh, this is uh, actually the layout, the um, awesome program time shift needs um, to do create snapshots. Okay, so let's mount our, um, let's open up our um, encrypted partitions here. Encrypt VDA. Encrypt, oh, sorry, VDB. This should be B. Okay, okay. What? All right, let's have a look in Dev Mapper. All right, so here the PopOS installer has installed everything to into this partition here and in this um, 
object here. This one is still empty, okay? This is on the first disk, this is still on the second disk. Okay, now we um, mount the root partition, the top level ButterFS volume, which is always root ID 5, um, to um, slash mount. Okay, so um, let's mount, provide some options. I will, um, so defaults, I want subvol ID, the, the top level root ID, which is always 5. And since I am usually I'm using SSDs, I will um, provide already optimized mount options, uh, which PubOS does not do by default. Okay, so SSD is like use SSD specific options, um, no A time to prevent frequent disk writes, um, uh, as the last access times of files and folders are not stored, uh, space catch. Um, which allows ButterFS to store free space um, on catch on the disk and um, which makes this much quicker. Um, commit equals 120 is the time interval interval in which data is written to the file system. I took this value from Manjaro. And compress um, allows us to specify a compression algorithm and uh, do you, um, there are some benchmarks done by Pharonix that tell you that this works quite well. Okay, and I want to mount dev mapper um, data VDA root into mount. Okay. So let's create a RAID 1 for this root file system. Um, and there's a nice command, butterfest balance. Okay, there's Currently, if we have a look, file system uh, show into mount, there's only one device here. So let's add another device, which is device add def mapper um, data vdb root into mount. If we have a look again, file system show, now there are two devices, but there's nothing on the second disk yet. Okay, and this is why there is a nice command called um, Butterfest balance, okay, and which uh, copies the, the basically the chunks uh, over. Um, you can also have a look at usage, which is quite useful here. And here you see that the, there's still data single. It's all on the on the one partition here. Um, DUP also means there's still not a good rate one here. Okay, so. Um, Okay, so uh, what basically ButterFS balance does, ButterFS balance start, we want to convert the data into a RAID 1 and the metadata into a RAID 1. And let's do this. So what this uh, basically does, it passes all data in the file system through the allocation algorithm again, and it's, it basically rebalances the data across the devices. Um, and this is very useful whenever a device is added or removed. Um, so when your disk fails and you have to remove it or replace it, and you also will have to run the balance at some point. Uh, this would regenerate missing copies. Um, and um, so this is exactly what we need. Might take a while, but this is a fresh install, so it shouldn't be too bad. Sometimes there's an error. Um, in this rebalance command, um, I ran into this issue whenever I tried to set up a swap file with a RAID 1, which does not work for ButterFS. So this is why we have the swap partition. Um, also, but for some reason, sometimes there's an error, no space left or something like that. Then there are more options to the balance command, like um, slash D usage or M U slash M usage, and then you put in a high percentage. You can start with a hundred, and then um, go down bit bit by bit until everything until there is no like a, where is it like here data single or DUP. Okay, let's have a look in um, our usage. Okay, now we see there's RAID one, no single, no DUP. Everything is RAID one. Perfect. So we do have a perfectly working RAID 1 system already here. But we don't have subvolume, subvolumes yet. And this is what we will now do. So ButterFS subvolume create um, mount at. All right. And now let's move everything into from uh, M M T into this add for. Uh, it's not a directory, it's a subvolume, okay? There's 
um, a fine distinction here. Um, so mount everything that's in here. Let's grab this and pass it on as arguments into the move command um, to do, I think. Nope. Um, let me see. What does this do? Okay. Uh, I probably have to be inside this command, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. I have to be in the in the in the folder. So this might take a while and note that we already used the uh, optimized mount option so these are now compressed okay so let's have a look there's only add in here and in this add we now have everything cool all right now let's create another sub volume um butterfast sub volume where's the command i used create at home okay um pop os installer does not create any user files in the home directory because this is done um at the first reboot so there's nothing we need to be to copy over and now we can uh, list our sub volumes and there it is we have at and at home but we do need to adjust some stuff. We do need to, uh, need to adjust um, the mount options in FS tab and also uh, in the bootload and the boot manager. Okay, so let's go first into FS tab. Let's make a copy that in case if we mess up something. Um, we have a backup. All right, and let's go into this. Okay, so this is the boot FE, this is recovery, and this is my uh, encrypted swap. Perfect. Okay, and here, PapOS does uh, what PapOS does by default is it's just using default mount options, uh, top level mount uh, into root. Uh, we do not want this. We want actually not only to have default, but to say mount the sub volume, which is called add to root, so to, to the slash here and use ssd no a time space catch commit equals 120 compress equals one uh sorry zstd zero zero is quite good because uh, butterfs does not support fs checked okay and then copy this again bam and mount to home the sub volume at home and this is the way you could uh, mount all sorts of folders um, into different subvolumes. Note that whenever we take a snapshot of, say, at, um, we this won't include snapshots of at home. Okay, so this is quite nice. Okay, um, let me check. Um, okay, we're here. All right, then let's get out of here. Um, now let's create a change root, a change root environment. Um, so we work directly inside our newly installed system without actually rebooting yet. So let's first unmount everything. Oh, let's U mount. Okay. And then let's do again the mount command, defaults, but let's now not do subvol id, but subvol add. SSD, no A time, base, catch, commit equals 120, compress equals ZSTD, def mapper, data, VDA, root, mount. We could have put in here VDB root because they are in RAID 1, they have the same UUID. Okay. Now let's have a look into mount. There it is, our system. No more sub volumes here. We're actually in add in the volume. Okay. 
All right, let's go into a root. Let's bind some stuff for n in proxys dev. Do mount r bind dollar n into mount dollar n done. So this will basically uh, proxys and dev are uh, where here are my, my, my partitions, my devices, and my, my, all my hardware and stuff like that. And we will put this into the Cheroot as well. Okay, and now we can access Cheroot. Um, let's go into this folder and let's pretend this is now my root. Okay, so this is now my root. Let's see whether our FS step actually works. Let's mount everything. Okay, successfully, successfully. No, ah, successfully mounted. All right, cool. Looks good. And now we need to adapt some other stuff, okay? Uh, first of all, we need to add our second rate one drive to the crypt tab. So we need to go into crypt tab. Okay, you can see here's a crypt VDA. Um, oh, of course, uh, we need to find out uh, the um, UUID of our um so bulk id um that s u u i d that o value def vdb4 okay so this is vda4 just for comparison okay and we need vdb4 so i'm just gonna copy this okay and if you have a look in your clipped tab Okay, here for EE, this is off the VDA. And we need to add this another line like this. Okay, so do nano. Uh, be important, use the names, use always the same names. Okay, UUID, and then let's paste none, I'm sorry, none lux. Okay. All right. Now I'm gonna add a timeout to the boot menu. So just in case we can always access the recovery system. Um, we've mounted the FE partition, so this should work here. All right, so let's add a timeout of two seconds. And then we need to add, uh, to tell the boot manager that we have to look into the sub wall add and not in the top volume for root. Okay, we have to add root flags. And there is these entries and there is pop OS current. So, and here we have to add root flags equals sub vol equals add. All right, so the next reboot will be fine, but whenever there's a kernel update or a model, kernel model update or anything happens with the uh, in a DRAM FS, um, in a DRAM disk, then uh, this will be overwritten. So we need to change the kernel stop configuration um, to also have this as a default option. Um, so let's go into etc. kernel stop configuration. All right, and we have to add these root flags here under user, okay? Okay, so root flags equals sub vol equals at no comma at the end perfect all right all right now very importantly we have to also install butterfs prox because the pub OS installer does not do this by default and this will already trigger the um, update of the inner dram fs so we are already here which either way we should have done um, by, uh, by ourselves because we updated the crypt tab. <laughs> okay, and this is important that there is a root flags. Okay, it sticks. Cool. All right, I think we are ready to reboot. So exit the Cheroot and do a reboot now. Okay, here's the boot menu for two seconds. 
And now it should ask me for, for the crypt VDA password and now for the VDB password, fingers crossed. <laughs> and there we are, our RAID 1 is working and also encryption of flux and decryption of flux. Okay, let's go ahead. I do not like dark, I like it light. Berlin is perfect, skip. All right, put in a password if you like. Um, all right, start using Pop OS. Okay, let's do first some checks. And um, all right, let's go into terminal again. Um, root mode, interactive, sudo. All right, let's have a look again at our FS tab. Okay, this looks good. If map crypt swap, butterfest. Okay, this looks quite good. Nothing changed here. There's crypt VDA, crypt VDB, and crypt swap in here. That's fine. Let's have a look how stuff is mounted. In particular, our data VDE. Okay, and the mount options are compress, SSD, page cats, comment, subfall, perfect, subfall, subfall. Okay, everything is mounted correctly. We could, of course, do this. All right, that's fine. Um, what about our swap? Okay, there's also a swap partition in action. Uh, what about our butter file system? Show. <clears throat> okay, and file system usage. And all is RAID 1, there is no DUP or single, perfect. Okay, now we should probably do apt update, apt upgrade, apt dist upgrade, auto remove, auto clean and reboot and stuff like that. Um, that's not only three updates. Okay, but uh, I don't. Wanna do this? Okay, so. Now let's do um, some more boot options, okay? Because we want to be, uh, in case uh, in our rate a disk breaks, we need to be able to access um, the recovery partition on booth disks. We need to be able to, to, to run the system in any way, okay? So uh, let's create a boot entry um, with the degraded mount option, okay? So let's go into um, nano boot. Or oh, let's go into this folder first. Boot FE loader entries. And here you have these two. Okay. So let's copy this. And let's call this up. OS minus degraded dot conf. Okay, and let's go into this guy. Degraded. Okay, and here in case one disk is not accessible, uh, the degraded option tells Butterfest, okay, still mount it, mount the other one. Okay, the rate is broken, but try to, to get as much as you can from the from the non-broken disk or just use the non-broken disk. Okay. All right. Um, okay, now let's make a duplicate of our recovery partition. So let's use dd def recovery was on VDA2. Output is def VDB2. Block size, I don't know. And let's have a status. 
So this will copy four gigabytes of data. All right, now everything is copied. Um, and uh, we, uh, let's see, create two um, entries in the boot menu for uh, the recovery system on VDA and one on VDB. Okay, so we do have already this recovery right here. So let's copy recovery uh, to recovery. Um, let me call that VDA and another one to VDB. Let's go into the VDA first. And let's call this VDA. Um, here, the only thing you need to to um, well, there's the recovery partitions have a UUID, which is supposed to be in here, and a part UUID, which is this guy over here. Okay, VDA is where I installed stuff, so I do not need to uh, change anything here. Um, but I do, let's go into VDB. This is VDB. Okay, and now let's open up another terminal. And um, let's find out the um, the UUID of VDA uh, two is this guy over here. Okay, for VDB two, that's actually the same because of the FE. Um, but what I need is this part UID. This is different. Okay, VDB part UID. Okay, so I need to copy this guy and go at the end. So there's this long number over here. Let's delete it. And paste the other one in here. Okay, good. All right, that's it. And now let's also make a duplicate of our EFI partition. So let us first um, Unmount this um, boot FE and mount the other partition, the FVDB1 boot FE. Um, Um, oh, of course, I need to first um, dd uh, if def vda1 of def vdb1 block size some number. Okay. All right. Now let's mount it. Um, okay. And let's reinstall just to be sure. Uh, Linux generic and Linux headers generic. And also update in RamFS with ceiling. All. Okay. All right. Now let's exit the cheroot and 
Oh no, we're not at root, but the system, let's uh, reboot. And see whether everything works. Okay, we have now a PopOS degraded, we have PopOS recovery, and let's first go into recovery of VDA. And we are on VDA, okay. Let's go into VDB. And we are on B. Perfect. Okay. Now, uh, let's restart. Uh, Pop OS current. All right. Decrypt both. So some um, some tweaks. Um, I also like always to install a time shift. Okay, and then open it up. And then we can actually hit, I have a ButterFS system. There's a bug because it doesn't display this correctly and does say you do not have ButterFS partition. Well, actually I do, but it, it would still continue. Um, let's, uh, I always include the uh, home sub volume because if I do a system restore and I do not, most of the times you never want to restore, like you, you, there's an update that failed and you never want to restore the current home directory, but you can also, when you do restore of time shift, uh, hit whether or not you want to include the home sub volume or not. All right. All right. And it's active. Let's create our first snapshot and we're done. So you can always return to the, this current state of your system. Okay. ButterFS is a copy and write um, file system. So this is why it's so quick to, to do snapshots and also um, have a look in um, run time shift backup here time shift mounts your root sub uh, your root top level volume of butterfs okay so in add this is basically the same as here and in add home this is the same as Okay, and once you are in this folder, it's very, oh, I'm sorry. Um, it's very easy to also manually create um, snapshot, say of add, add, call it whatever, my cool snapshot, bam, and then you have another snapshot. And you can move them, move them around. You can rename them. And if I rename add my cool snapshot again back to add, then I'm back at this point in time. Okay. Uh, of course, you can also delete snapshots. The sub volume uh, delete. I think uh, add my cool snapshot. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, another thing is uh, we did not use this card. There, there's a new kernel option in kernel 5.6, uh, which we are all still on 5.4, I guess. A asynchronous disk card. Um, I have no experience with that. So what I usually do is I enable FS trim timer. 
this will run periodically the uh, um, FF file system trim. And um, I also, what I have, I have a YubiKey and uh, instead of typing in a password, I have used my YubiKey with a very short password um, to unlock my Lux partitions, but okay. All right, now let's um, assume your rate is broken. Okay, so uh, let me hit pause and remove the, um, um, the first disk VDA, okay? All right, now I have, um, the um, I have removed the first disk and inserted a completely empty one. Okay, so, so something is wrong with our RAID system. Now I have, we will uh, need to, to boot from the um, second um, FE partition on, on the second disk. And uh, so I have a cloned disk, I have all these options, okay? So this won't work. This will not work yet, okay? We have, always have to go into first recovery mode. Okay. Okay, try demo. Now, let's mount the working one. Like, or let's have a look. Bulk IV. No, it was bulk. So, VDA is completely empty. Something is wrong with this disk. Well, it is empty. I removed it and uh, inserted a um, totally empty one. So, how do I run my system then? Okay, now let's open VDB4 into crypt VDB. Let's mount the sub volume at, but in degraded mode, okay? So this is like telling me, okay, I know you're rate one, but I only want to open this single disk or partition into mount, okay? And also let's mount um, into boot FE, okay? Um, let me change my notes. I have something wrong in here. Okay. Um, and now do for in in proc sysdef do mount duck deck or bind dollar n dollar n done. And let's go into the system. Okay. To root into it. Okay, now we have to be a bit careful about, uh, we have to uh, change uh, a bit of stuff, okay? We need to first go uh, into FSTEP, okay? Boot FE and recovery are, those are the numbers for um, the first disk, VDA, okay? We need to, to put in here the numbers of the second one. Oh, let's do a bulk ID. Um, so for, for the FE partition is actually, um, where is it there? This is the part UID, which I need copy. Okay. So I need to delete this number and enter the other one. And the recovery is on. Okay. Let me see, um, on two, this is the part UID. Okay, now swap is fine in the FS tab, but, um, and this one is also fine because um, the rate hat uh, uses the same UUID, of course. Okay, now fine, all right, close. Let's make a swap of uh, VDB3. 
Okay, and let's copy this UUID here and let's go into the crypt tab because the swap is of course also now in our working disk. We have to... Okay, and now the first one is broken, so let's uncomment this. All right. And hit update in a dram fast.c.k all. So in case um, VDB is broken, um, the, the steps are the same. You have to crypt setup, plug open uh, VDA, then you have to mount uh, the subvolume at degraded mount. Um, you have to cheroot into um, your system, and then you um, basically go in there and uh, just uncomment the not working device in uh, in the crypt tab. Because in FS tab everything is set up correctly, and you also do the update in a dramfs.c.ko. Okay, that's it. Exit, reboot now. Oh. Um, I have to be explicit about the boot manager, it's on this device too. And there you actually have to go into degrade it, okay? This is why we created this boot entry. And there we go. We are in our system and we can actually replace the disk, uh, do um, a balance um, command again. And yeah, that's it. Okay, I hope you liked this uh, tutorial. Um, I love Pop! OS and uh, it's always fun to do stuff with it. So yeah, let me know how you liked it and uh, check out my homepage for all the commands and more stuff on this topic. Bye bye.